Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing like a collective makeup haul. Um, if you've seen like any of my previous videos, you know I've been going through a rough time um, as an understatement, but I've been doing some retail therapy, which internally my mind is like, thank you for these gifts, but my wallet is like, why are you doing this to us? So um, I thought I would share with you guys some of the stuff that I've bought over the past like well, since I've been gone, um, I've also, like, been shopping, like, for cute clothes and stuff like that, so if you want to see those, definitely let me know down below, and I will do, like, a plus-size clothing haul, because I've been buying some cute stuff, too, um, so yeah, uh, but before we get into this, make sure to subscribe if you have not, and hit that little notification bell to be notified of every single upload that I put up here on my channel. I'm going to try to be better at uploading this year. Um, I'm not going to put a set upload schedule. I would like to do at least one video a week. But because of my erratic schedule and, you know, just life, um, I don't know um, if I will. But, uh, you can probably catch up with all the things that have been going on, if you want to, in the cards. Because I'ma have a, uh, get ready with me chit chatty kind of thing. So just clicky up there if you want to see that. But, yeah, let's get into this. If you like hauls, definitely give it a thumbs up. And, let's get in. So, the first like little things that I got I needed some new eye brushes and if you've been following me for a while you know I love BH Cosmetics because they have such good stuff for such a good price and I have been trying to keep everything that I've been buying recently as cruelty free as possible um so I got some brushes from BH Cosmetics yes they are dirty because I used them this morning for dust look um so excuse that but I bought what, five brushes and I got the BH cosmetics number six brush which is like a medium fluffy brush the number five brush which is a bit bigger of a fluffy brush the number eight brush which is like a tiny fluffy brush so using these three for like the outer um crease are so magical um i got the number nine which is like a little flat brush which is really good for cutting the crease and doing like little like packing on uh color and stuff like that and then I got this, uh, the number 11, which I believe is an eyeliner brush, but I've actually been using this for, like, cutting my crease as well. Um, I got this for cutting my crease, but I've been using it a lot for, like, pigments and, like, packing on pigments. And been using this for cutting my crease. And it's actually been super, super helpful, and I've been really loving this. So, these brushes are amazing. They were, like, what, like, three bucks a piece. So, super high quality, super soft, really easy to use, and I'm just like, ugh, I love them so much. And then, while I was on the BH Cosmetics website, I got two of my favorite concealers. The BH Studio Pro Concealers are some of the best concealers I have ever tried in my entire life. I'm like, shook. So, I've got the pink one, which helps with these dark circles, because I don't sleep and 100.5 I got a lighter one than I did the last time because I think I got like 101 um and it was just a little too like dark I had to like go up a shade in my like like I had to like go up a shade with my foundation or like mix it with white concealer which I have but I mean I was just like let me get one you know because my other ones are almost out so that was 
the first like makeup purchase that I did and then I did some ult damage which if you know me these palettes will probably come as a surprise <laughs> Um, well, one probably won't, but the other two will. So the first one that is no surprise is the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. I've been using this quite a bit on my Instagram. Um, I've been trying to keep up with some looks, at least because I've actually had places to go and things to do. So, you know, um, this is an okay palette. I've played around with it a bit and some of the colors are lacking but some of the colors are pretty good so you know it's kind of like a 50 50 palette um some of the colors are really pigmented some of them are uh just very uh not so much but i mean it's a decent palette i i enjoy it and i find myself reaching for this a lot just because i'm like i want those bright colors to work and then I got some neutral palettes, and I'm like, oh, who is this? Oh, who is this neutral person? Who are you? What are you here for? But I saw them, and I kind of, like, needed it. So I got the Lorac Desert Sunset Palette, and I've actually, I'm wearing it today, and I've actually been using this a lot for, like, days when I'm, like, called in, and I have to go in last minute, and I just need to throw some shadows on. This palette is so pretty. Like, this right here, Illusion, has been an amazing shade. I have it all over my lid today. Of course, this phone doesn't pick up the color, but it's, like, super beautiful, super shimmery. Let me see if I can pick it up. It's, like, really, oh, so metallic. I, I love it so much. And then this purple also drew me in because I love the purple. Like it has this really nice sheen to it. Oh, I love it so much. And it's just, it's just a great, like, everyday palette. And then I got the... It's really dirty, so don't judge. It's the Cute AF palette from ColourPop. The only gripe with this is that the packaging is white and it gets dirty real quick. Um, but other than that, I love this. It has... Lots of really pretty, like, warm tones, and that gold, that butter cake, y'all, got me, oh, oh, I love it so much, oh, I love it, and, like, all these shades are so pretty, and I mainly just got it for the yellow, because I really like the yellow, but I'm really loving, like, all the other colors in this palette, super pretty. Um, my friend Meg Solomonix Riot had posted, like, a review, or, like, she posted something about this, and I was like, I'm gonna need to get that immediately. So, thanks, Meg. <laughs> and I picked up a highlight palette, um, the Makeup Revolution, uh, strobe highlighting palette. Um, it's okay. It's, like, more subtle, and, it, and it's dirty, of course, because I've been trying to use it. But it's like a very subtle, try not to blind you guys, but it's got like a light white, but has like a green tone to it. A gold and a pink. I mean, it's aight. It's just very, very subtle, which I like blinding highlights. There's the center. And then the last one, which I really like the green shift. It's like a light green shift. This is the most pigmented one, but it's like I said, Unless you use, like, a setting spray and, like, put it on right then. It's it's really subtle. So, trying to play around with it. Trying to trying to use it because I bought it. And I'm, like, I, I just, I can't waste product. Like, I'm one of those people that I, like, have to use it until it is gone. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and I also picked up a, a Giordana Easy Liner. Um, in Blue Divine to do eyebrows so I can match my hair, even though it looks kind of green now. But it was a dark blue and it's just fading. But, um, I've been using that for my eyebrows and, uh, I like it. It does its job. So, lately I haven't really been liking, like, foundation on my skin. I don't know if it's, like, just because it's cold and the weather's been messed up. So I have been wearing like BB cream instead of foundation and 
I personally like the way it looks better. So I got the Maison BB Cream, the Snail Replenish Balm, and I love this. Um, I saw a bunch of reviews for like the Palest BB Cream because I'm pale AF. So, so far I really like this a little bit. It definitely goes a long way and it is great for us really pale people. <laughs> So I've been really liking this and it covers pretty well um, and so I've been using this for like every day so I really like it. I know it's like snail replenish, snail repair but it does its job so I, I aim it. Uh, and then I'm going to go with the stuff that I just got in today. I made an Ulta purchase couple of days ago and just got my stuff um I got some color some more color pop stuff I got some super shock shadows because the last time I ordered them was like five ever ago and I wanted to pick up some new colors so I got this purple one in daddy I got this really pretty like sea foaming green in snapdragon this one i was like mm, in telepathy like a greeny gold i'm dying over it and then this one is coconut it's like a deep like teal i'm really excited to play with these and do some looks with them and see how like how they are i'm just i'm so excited i love color pop so much i love everything they come out with and then i got a super shock cheek because I use one of their Super Shock shadows as like a highlight sometimes. So I wanted to try out their cheeks. And I got, uh, what is this, Rocket Science. Because I love purple highlighters. Because when I do like my cool tone looks, I really like to do like purple um, highlights sometimes. And I have a Wet n Wild one that is like from the, the like, collection like forever ago that has like it's like white called white raven and it has like that purple reflect i love it so i got this i can't wait to play around with it so yes i can't wait and i could even use this for eyeshadow so to me why eat um and the reason i made the purchase is um because i needed some face primer i've actually been liking like dewy or face primers or like more moisturizing face primers so i picked up the wet n wild photo focus dewy face primer um if you guys have any recommendations for like moisturizing or dewy face primers that are cruelty free please let me know down below because i need some because i i have gotten to a point where i don't like the silicone kind anymore like it just I don't know it just doesn't keep my makeup on anymore um and my skin just doesn't appreciate it and I've also like looked at a lot of videos and read a lot of stuff that it's actually kind of bad for your skin because it can clog up your pores and I'm like you know what no nah, I'm good <laughs> I already have like my skin always breaks out anyway so I don't need that Oh, thank you. Next. Okay. And then I got the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray. I got this before, but it was like the matte version and I really loved it. So I got the illuminating one this time. I'm so happy I have setting spray now because like when you like go from not using setting spray and then using it and then going back and it it changes no like I'm just like it just y'all <laughs> it changes the game so much like it keeps everything in place keeps my eyebrows in place because like even though I set them with a powder and then I go over with a translucent powder like I still like my dumb ass still like gets it everywhere sometimes when I be having those rough days so bless 
Um, and then I picked up a, another eyeliner brush. This is from Essence. So I thought I would give it a try. And no matter how much I clean my eyeliner brushes, it's still covered in blue. So it's stained blue. So I got one for like actual stuff. And the next two things I do not believe are cruelty free, but I could not find a dry shampoo that was cruelty free um, on Ulta's website. Maybe I was like having a day or something. So if you guys know any like really good cruelty free dry shampoos, please let me know in the comments below because when I be having those days and they call me in and I'm just like, I haven't washed my hair. I do this. <laughs> Cause yeah. Um so I got two of the Bedhead Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. I got two of them, one for home and one for my bag. So that way I can have dry shampoo on the go, ready to do things in case I get called in and don't have time to wash my hair. Um so yeah, that is all the makeup things that I have purchased in the past like couple of months. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this haul. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. And of course, hit the little notification bell. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And um, if you guys want to see looks with any of this stuff, any of the palettes, reviews or anything like that please let me know as well in the comments below also let me know if you want to see the plus size fashion haul because i can do that too um yeah i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye uh do 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 yeah it's a precise eyeliner brush Cause I only have like one or two eyeliner brushes and one of them is completely coated in blue no matter how much I cleaned them how much I cleaned them how much I clean <laughs> so I got two of the bedhead rockabilly not rockabilly well I haven't done this forever in a day so I am literally illiterate right now Yay, I'm illiterate. Ye I just should have brought a tissue so I can wipe all this stuff off in between swatches. Why didn't I do that? You know, just wipe it on your pants. That's fine. <laughs> I'm a mess.